the Nikon D5100, 11 focus points, three frames a second, 16 megapixel, 1080p, live view, less than $150. <laughs> Another great test of what I think should be the first DSLR that you consider in 2023. And I've probably said that about every Nikon DSLR that I show you, but this particular one I picked up um, simply to show you. And this is the Nikon D5100. Now, the Nikon D5100 came out in 2011. It came out around about the same time as the Nikon D7000. It shares the same sensor as the Nikon D7000, which is considered to be a, an extremely good DSLR. And when it was released, it did very, very well. The D7000, unlike the D5100, is weather sealed. Why on earth would I suggest that you pick up a D5100? Good question. Quite simply, because that articulating screen, that beautiful, beautiful articulating screen, that, that beautiful articulating screen gives you the option and the confidence to create compositions without looking through the lens. As soon as you look through the lens on a DSLR with a big lens, that articulating screen gives you the option to make a composition, take an image without looking through the viewfinder. As soon as you look through the viewfinder with a DSLR camera, especially with a big old lens like this, it starts kind of sucking your confidence away if you're a beginner, if you're a newbie, if you're a beginner, if and when you're a beginner. The beauty of an articulating screen is it gives you the confidence to go ahead and make images in built up areas. Now, even if you're making images and taking pictures of your family, it can still be a bit nerve wracking. You feel a little bit odd, you feel a little bit weird because we're not used to taking pictures these days. We're not used to making images. We're used to using our cell phones. So when we get to picking up a DSLR or an SLR camera, if you shoot film, they tend to have lenses on them. They look a little bit different than a cell phone. You can do waist level shooting using that articulating screen making your images without even lifting up that camera to your eye to create that composition. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Also, you can go ahead and shoot selfies as you're walking down the street. Wonderful option. You can vlog with these cameras. You can go ahead and use the cameras for vlogging. You can go ahead and use those cameras for vlogging if you're uploading to YouTube or whatever you wanna do. And in that instance, you can use a decent lens in order to create a beautiful effect for your YouTube videos. Now, this is a camera from 2011, so don't expect too much from the video, but you can still go ahead and use it. Now, I've got a bit of a ridiculous lens on this camera right now. This is a Sigma Art 18 to 35 mil because I'm going to a store, which I absolutely love, and I just want to get some close-up images with some real good detail just to test the sensor on this camera. But remember, it's not all about the body. It's about the lens. And these Sigma Art lenses are extremely good. I absolutely love it for portraiture, and I just enjoy the vibes generally. I mean, it's about 10 times bigger than the camera itself, but the vibes it creates are absolutely wonderful. Listen, Sigma art lenses are not cheap. So yeah, let's go to this store. Let's check out some trinkets, get some images with this beautiful lens. We'll go back to the workshop and have a chat about this 5100. But you guys, if you're looking for a DSLR and you're looking to get into the DSLR or the photography game, the D7000 is a great option because it's inexpensive. But the D5100 has the same sensor. It will cost you less and it has an articulating screen. This camera is not weather sealed, but that having been said, it's still extremely robust. It's Nikon at the end of the day. So yeah, let's go to the store. Let's have a look at some trinkets. And then we'll go from there.
So following a nice camera walk in my local area. Now bearing in mind, it's winter, the Christmas tree's up, it's cold outside. So not too much outside to photograph at the moment because the snow's not settled, but I can still get out and take some wonderful pictures with my DSLRs now. So the reality was that I just wanted to test this beautiful Nikon D5100. Now, as with always, I would suggest getting rid of that big lens and just throwing on one of those tiny little primes. Now this, my 35 mil AFS DX. Now that is a prime 35 mil lens. Let's just focus in there. There you go, beautiful. And you can see that it makes the camera much more manageable in the hand. When you're using these prime lenses, these smaller lenses, you can see that the camera is much more stocky and squat rather than using these bigger, I mean, this art lens is absolutely beautiful. Great images, but for just knocking around town, you guys, 35 mil, beautiful DX 1.8, super fast lens. With that articulating screen on this D5100, you can get some pretty beautiful images. you can get some pretty beautiful images. Also, points to note, not the fastest camera in the world. I, th I think it's three to four frames per second, but you guys, with this kind of camera for this kind of money, that is still good enough. This is another option. This is a DX lens. It's VR, so it's got that anti-shake, and you're looking at an 18 to 55. Now, this kit lens is actually cost less than $50 to pick up. I picked this one up from keh.com. Little faulty, little slow to get to work, but still absolutely perfect for this little makeup I've got here. I can just tuck that screen away and beautiful. Excellent, beautiful images, beautiful images, great camera, awesome features, 16 megapixel sensor, the same one that's in the D7000, so you know you're getting a good quality sensor, fully articulated screen, Video mode, so you can do some vlogging for YouTube. Very simple to use. Want to take a picture of landscape, set the dial to the picture with a mountain, sports, the person running, macro, the flower, etc. And then we still have aperture priority, shutter priority, fully manual, program mode, and auto mode as well. And all of those in this wonderful package for less than $150. I mean, you could pick these up from KEH for about $124 in pretty used condition, but I would suggest getting one that's a little bit better, pay about $150, get yourself a nice, small, fast prime lens, zoom with your feet and take some great images of your family over the holiday period. Now, the menu system, pretty straightforward. Menu system, pretty straightforward. Everything you're gonna need inside the camera to create those beautiful images. Now you've got playback options, and also there's a bunch of inbuilt presets that you can make to customize this camera to whatever you want. I won't go too far into it. Look at my previous videos on the 3000, etc. This is a very familiar camera to me because I shoot Nikon all the time. One of my favorite things, you guys, check this out. See that red button there? Press that button and you're gonna be recording beautiful 1080p video. This lever at the top, hit that lever. Now look at that, live view. Not only can you video, not only have you got video mode, but now you've got live view as well, you guys. You can see what's going on, when it's going on, shoot your YouTube videos, pictures of your family opening gifts. It's gonna be absolutely wonderful. The Nikon D5100, 11 focus points, three frames a second, 16 megapixel, 1080p, live view, less than $150. If you're looking for a DSLR camera at Christmas in 2023, look no further. Get one of these prime lenses or a nice cheap kit lens. Don't get Sigma Art because it's going to break the bank until you're doing a little bit more high-end photography. That's it from me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.